Hello, and um, just doing a follow-up video to lesson three on selections. There's different ways uh, to select certain objects, but um, certain students are having issue with selecting this coral. There's different ways to approach selecting the coral. I'm just gonna demonstrate two of the ways. In those of you who have the new Photoshop, you can select by using this new object selection tool. Select the object selection tool. And it mostly does the work for you. But notice it doesn't do great work because notice there is a little bit of white space that it's selected. Let's try to go ahead and remove some of these object selections. Let's see, uh, object selections, areas, and let's see if we can um, automatically enhance the selection edge. Let's go ahead and click on that. And sample all layers, let's not do that. Let me, let's try it again. Use the tool and see if we'll get the areas. Well, this looks a little bit better, but not quite. See that white space is still being selected. I'm gonna hit Control D to deselect. Uh, let's see, object subtraction. Let's see what happens. Same, same problem that we're actually experiencing. So uh, using this particular tool and this particular scenario does not quite work the way I would like to. Yes, you got a little bit of the selections and from this selection, you can go ahead and utilize a different tool like your quick select and subtract the areas that you don't want. Let's make a bigger brush. Let's go ahead and subtract the areas that might not be needed. And then now you have the complete selection, but you notice you have to use two different tools. Okay, let's deselect Control D. Let's use a different tool. Let's use a marquee tool to select the coral. And now let's go ahead and use the magic wand tool. Uh, pay attention that the magic wand tool has a tolerance area. If you specify a tolerance that is too high, when you select, reselect or subtract the not wanting space, notice the white area is going to kind of be really weird because this white, white area is too close to the white background and the tolerance is 200. So I'm gonna control Z, go back one step. I'm gonna drop the tolerance to 10. And now I'm gonna use the magic wand to subtract the white area. Notice the tolerance is at 10. I use the magic wand to subtract the white area and the coral is now selected. Now you can go ahead and copy it, move it to a new layer and do whatever it is you wanted to do with this particular uh, project. Um, that's about it. Let me know if this helped. Um, I'm Vladimir Peransky, your instructor, and hopefully I will see you online.